Hi everyone, this is just, hi everyone, this is a quick video that might help people trying to install Windows on the Gigabyte Aorus X399 because I had quite a few problems. Now, I'm by no means an expert Windows user. Most of the time I run Linux, which is actually what's running at the moment, uh, it's Arch Linux. Installing that was really easy. I wrote the uh, ISO file to my little USB here, plugged the USB into the computer, booted into the installer, installed Linux, everything went to plan, booted straight up into it. Took about 20 minutes, I know what I'm doing with Arch Linux, it's quite difficult to install compared to other distributions, but it took me about 20, 25 minutes to get it all up and running. And it's one of the hardest operating systems to install. Windows, on the other hand, gave me no end of problems. It took me about four to five hours in total of messing around just to get it installed. I'll run you through what I tried. The first thing I did, of course, was burn the ISO again to my USB. Worked fine. Booted into the Windows installer and it asked me to install a driver. Uh, first thing I did was look at the manual and that suggested installing Windows in AHCI mode. Now, the manual was not written very well for this at all. It suggested that you should always set it to RAID mode before installing Windows. So, I'm not really keen on that, I would have preferred AHCI, but considering I ran into that problem, I thought, well, I'll just use RAID mode and then get the RAID driver from the Gigabyte website. So I went and got the RAID driver from the website, set my disks up in, set the disk up in RAID mode, ready for installation. Went to the installation, went through the installation on Windows again, again it got stuck asking for a driver. So then I realised, okay, maybe it wasn't RAID mode that was the problem and I needed a different driver. I downloaded every single driver I could from the list on the Gigabyte page, unzipped them to a second USB flash drive, USB drive, put the USB drive in, installed the drivers during the install process, no luck. I could not uh, get through the install process past the select driver stage. And that was a real pain. I was really starting to get stuck at this point. I then looked online and people said try different USB ports because Windows can't be installed from USB 3.0. Uh, unfortunately, every USB port in this motherboard is USB 3.0 or 3.1. So I tried installing the USB 3.1 driver. And, uh, in, at this point, I probably should have tried putting the USB 3.1 driver on the USB stick and installing that and installing Windows from USB 3.1. But I tried selecting the RAID drivers, the Wi-Fi drivers, the uh, and USB drivers, all from the Gigabyte website, and could not get Windows installed. And I'm by no means a Windows expert, but I know enough to get by. I mostly use Linux, which is what I use 90, what I use about 90% of the time. But I was really struggling to install Windows. Eventually, I gave up, grabbed an old optical drive, plugged it in using a serial ATA cable to the motherboard I'm just hanging out here and after burning the Windows DVD on using my laptop I was then able to boot into the installer and install things as expected. If you do try to install Windows from USB drive I don't know if it will work. I could not get it to work. There probably is some combination of drivers and putting the thing in the right port that may get it to work but I couldn't and I, I'd already been there three or four hours trying various combinations AHCI and RAID uh, drivers, all sorts of things, and it just didn't work. Unfortunately, that's not where my problems ended. After I'd managed to install Windows successfully, I booted into it, got to the initial setup where it says welcome, setting up your drivers and so on. And before it asks you even for a username, it asks you to connect to the internet. And I'm using Wi-Fi, I'm using a 5 gigahertz router. So I selected my Wi-Fi network from the list and promptly got a blue screen of death. I thought, okay, I'll reboot and I won't choose a Wi-Fi connection. I'll skip that stage and go through without connecting. Unfortunately, Windows doesn't let you do that. And what I found was when it got to the same stage of the installation after rebooting, it would automatically try to reconnect to the Wi-Fi and blue screen. So I was stuck in a blue screen loop. And I thought, okay, I'll just go into safe mode, install the driver, and do it that way. So I booted up into recovery mode, 
in, uh, boot up into recovery mode, tried to find safe mode. Unfortunately, any of the recovery options you use ask you to enter a username and password that's valid on that computer. And because the connect to Wi-Fi stage was before the uh, create, a, create a user account stage, I had no user account that I could use to set up, that I could use to get into safe mode and install the driver. So I actually had to format and reinstall Windows again. After I'd done that, I did manage to install Windows. I managed to skip that stage of the install process, go through, install the Wi-Fi driver using a driver from a USB stick, and then everything worked. But it took me about four or five hours to get Windows installed. And considering it took me about about 25 minutes to get Arch Linux installed, which should be really difficult to install, but in comparison, I was really frustrated. Windows is a real pain, and hopefully, if anyone has similar problems, you'll learn from my mistakes. Make sure you don't try to connect what to Wi-Fi during Windows setup until you've installed the Wi-Fi driver, and don't try to install Windows from a USB drive, because I couldn't get it to work, whatever I tried. Well, hopefully that advice will help a few of you. Um, I might do another update on temperatures, a bit of benchmarking and, and so on, but I thought that might be useful for anyone creating a similar setup with the Gigabyte Aorus motherboard.